This is not a sponsored video. Many tutorials are recommending this free subscription plugin. But what they don't tell you is that there are many limitations in its features and it's not officially from WooCommerce. So trusting it with your subscription data might not be safe. Please, only use the official subscription plugin from WooCommerce, which I'll show you how to set up today. Step 1. Setting up product subscription. Head to the WooCommerce website, then go to Extensions, find WooCommerce subscriptions. Yes, it's a paid plugin and yes, it's worth it. There's no doubt here. So buy it and then download the zip file. Then go to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin and upload the zip file and then activate it. Now click on Products and click Add New. You'll see a drop-down menu labeled Product Type. A simple subscription refers to setting a subscription for one simple product. And a variable subscription refers to one product having different variations and pricing, for example, a meal plan subscription. If you select Simple Subscription, you'll fill in the subscription price, subscription period, and subscription length. If you selected Variable Subscription, then click on Variations here, and then Add Variation. Now, each variation of the product can have different price, billing schedule, and trial period. Once you're done adding details, just click Publish to make your product live. Okay, time for a bonus tip. Slow sites can drive away customers, but my team is giving away a free plugin right now, where you just need to add your URL and it will triple your site speed instantly, no conditions applied. You can get it at airlift.net. Step 2. Set up Payment Gateway. Now we need to set up a payment gateway like this for your customers. So go to Plugins, then Add New, and search for WooCommerce PayPal Payments, which is a plugin by WooCommerce itself. Click Install and Activate. Now go to the PayPal website and click Sign Up. Enter your credentials, fill in your business details, and create account. Now come back to your dashboard. Click on WooCommerce, then Settings, go to the Payments tab, and in the preferred payment gateway, select PayPal. Then activate it. Log into your PayPal account we created in the previous step. Then click here to come back to your dashboard. Now, let's check if this worked. So go to your site, select a product and a subscription plan. And then you should see this kind of a checkout page. Let's make a payment to confirm everything is working. Also, you can modify the design of your checkout page to look better. So, comment below if you want that video. Okay, the payment is done. Now, let's come back to our dashboard. Click here. Click here. We can see your order details. Step 3. Maximize subscription revenue. Now, whatever subscription revenue you get, I'll take it to the next level with this powerful new tool and its features. Again, it's not a sponsored video. I recently discovered this tool and love it. And I think many brands are using it too. It's paid, but there's a money back guarantee. And I think we all know that the good plugins are always paid. Okay, I'll show you just two awesome features for today. After installing the plugin, now in your customer's account page, they'll see a dashboard with all of these options to customize the subscriptions. They can add new products, change product variations, sizes and quantities, or even pause subscriptions instead of cancelling them and do so much more. And after using it, now I can show how much you'd save if you subscribe to a regular delivery, nudging you to subscribe instead of just one purchase. This is so awesome. Okay, let's come back to our dashboard. There's many other powerful features here and you can discover them by clicking on this video or just check the website in the description.